Welcome back, guys. Um, uh, thank you, thank you all for joining in. Uh, okay. So today, what we want to do is uh, we want to look at uh, the best back testing software that's out there, right? It's not the best, right? But it's the cheapest. And uh, for any trader that's just trying to uh, have something that they can run along with, that's equally as good as actually professional. Then uh, this one is the one for you. So, uh, I've been using Traders Casa for quite some time now and uh the back then they used to have um back then they used to have uh ad free accounts but then now they actually have ads on their back testing on their free version so when you on the free version you'll be there'll be ads that'll be popping up every two three minutes or so for like 30 30 seconds now uh, it's a bit annoying but I've, I've i've decided to pay for the ad free version which is uh paying like uh, three us dollars 3.5 us dollars they are three dollars 50 cents so that you can block the ads and uh so far that's the one i'm using and um what's nice about it is that you have you get to have unlimited back testing sessions right so you can create as many back testing sessions as you want and uh you just get basic analytics but the analytics is not that much of a big deal because what you can do is you can always create an excel file and uh just uh get back uh, what you call this you create an excel file and start populating your findings there right and then uh, consistency tracker but some of those stuff I actually don't use because I actually uh, manually uh, collect my data on on an, on an excel spreadsheet and then the pro I haven't used pro but then if you guys can afford pro then uh, why not go for it it's only $30 per month and you get everything in the free plan which is unlimited back testing sessions and also now you get to add text to your trade which is like comments you get to journal your trade so it's like a proper trading journal that you have instead of having the side excel spreadsheet especially if you're not well based with excel and all other functions that can help you to make uh, your excel spray journal uh, look more you know meaningful and you can also get advanced analytics like how many times you were profitable how many times you lost and all that and you get full access to a notebook where you can also journal and also you can put custom indicators right and also <coughs> uh, you can also get live trade analytics uh, from live trades and um, yeah you can cancel any time and that's all that so I'm using the free one and the reason why I used free is also so because uh, it's actually a really nice platform because if you go on the dashboard on, on you so what you do is when you create your account uh, you go on dashboard you've got your dashboard which is this dashboard but you see my dashboard is not showing all the stuff because it's unpaid for you can have the analytics yeah you see so I was recently trading gold uh, back testing gold the uh, previous days so this is just a uh, a general perspective of uh, the dashboard my losing trade that two losers an average duration of 168 days because I was back testing and then you can get a report you check but it's not always gonna be like this because it's just a basic analytics right and then um, you can uh, back test this is where we are so I currently at this session so you can create a new new session and uh, for those who like black mode, you can always put a black mode here. So I create a new session and uh, we just want to say this session is uh, NAS 100. And then uh, starting balance, we can start off with uh, 25K because you know I deal with problems. And then uh, we want to select NAS 100 and then start date. We want to go back to 2023 and uh let's replicate today's date today's date is the 18th of february so let's just go to the 18th of february and then let's say nas 100 trade back tests uh back tests and then save the session and once you're done there's your session you can just click play and there we go we're getting inside uh and once you're inside then now I'll, I'll show you guys how you'll be able to place your trades right there so what you do is um uh what you do is this is your back testing um uh, thing it's the one that plays and stops the 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 the, 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 the replay so currently i'm in the 15 minute time frame so if i play it 
this one minute ticker is like it's a one minute speed and then um so every every tick is like one minute one minute one minute you can get a three minute ticker so like each movement is counts like three minutes then you get the 15 minutes which you just see like a candlestick after 15 minutes 15 minutes 15 minutes so this is currently what's happening for 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 for, for nas 100 so let's just do a quick uh, speculation and then just uh try to pop a pop a trade yeah randomly very random uh not too much um uh, uh trading or just not too much emphasis on uh the 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 the, 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 the trend direction and everything so let's say we want to place a trade uh, we can see maybe we're in uptrend downtrend whatever the case but let's say we're in a downtrend considering uh, this this high and uh, considering this break of structure yeah and then considering now that we've made a lower low so currently we're speculating that okay we assuming we're gonna keep trading lower so we have this price action that we're dealing with here and then we did trade lower but we didn't break this low so let's let's consider this as the price action that we have and then we just want to make sure that so 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 from here we retraced up push down again so we can further dismantle this and then say okay considering we are in this price action right and then as you can see in that price action we have covered 50 percent retracement we could be bullish uh but yeah, it depends. But um, I think from what I'm seeing here, uh, since it's a 15 minute time frame, let's just uh, keep shorting this market. Uh, so we want to keep shorting this market and we'll put our stops right above there. And then where's gonna, where are we going to target? We're going to target uh, to retracement. So level two, boom. And let's go target level two. Let's see if we can get to level two. Uh, that's 2.6 level 2 somewhere around here boom now our trade is a 1 to 2 yes we can take that trade and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this right you're gonna click um, the, the, the the risk to reward indicator and then you're gonna go on open position right when you click open position it's automatically gonna fill in all of uh, the trade setups that you've put so what you're gonna do is all you're gonna have to do because it already put the price based on that risk to reward indicator it already put the stop loss the take profit it puts there and then what what is gonna work out is is your risk appetite right so so far it's structured it as one percent which means for the account balance of 200 of 25,000 you're actually risking $250 right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull up your calculator and decide how much you want to risk right so let me just pull up my calculator so that you can see usually when I'm trading like prop firms I aim to risk like uh, 0 0.7 or 0 0.05 percent uh, per trade right so 0. Uh, five percent yeah 0 0.5 or 0 0.7 percent if i'm more risky 0 0.7 percent why is it not uh okay let me just say 0. Uh, 0. 0.5 divided by 100 to a percent right so i am i am up to risk that much and i risk that amount of the whole entire account size which is the initial balance here Twenty-five thousand, right boom so i should actually be risking 125 so what i then do is means either you can just go and say yeah you want to risk 125 which calculates that you're risking 0 0.25 or you just type 0 0.5 percent and then it does it so then once you do that you can also add partials so partials is when uh you'll be taking out like trades uh at a certain amount of the take profit balance you know that but it's okay so i cancel that on by mistake so let's just go quickly open yeah da 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 and then we click place trade so partials is a pro feature unfortunately we can't use that one but it's okay so we place trade boom and now when we remove this one our trade is already placed so you can see we have our entry and then we also have our stop loss right there let me just uh, put the chart on full screen uh where is the replay button i can't see the replay button 
so okay we can't see the replay button but okay now all we have to do is press play and then uh, if our trade is tagged in you're gonna see here below where there's the profit and loss and the account balance is gonna show and uh, this news feature I'm not sure okay so the news feature is actually very important because you see if you click the news feature it's gonna open uh, Forex factory which is the one I usually use and it's gonna show you the news events that were actually happening on that day so uh, the date here yeah, was uh, so we tagged in the date is uh, the Monday the 20th of uh, February and we can see that on this day there was news such as it was a red for the news date today USD flash PMI the New Zealand was going haywire the Canadian so it was just a volatile day that day but we can see that okay we are long are we going short and uh, we can we can see and we can just leave the trade so you can actually click this one to make it go faster and then boom that was news right you see there's a spike that just happened there you see where the market is right now there's a gap there so let's see if our take profit is gonna be hit boom take profit hit just like that and uh, as you can see now we have our balance of 280 dollars profit so yeah that's traders castle guys and uh, if you want to understand like a quick understanding of how I managed to decipher this trade it's okay guys you can always um, subscribe and uh, hit me up and uh, also I've got a free discord and uh, trading community that we're working on so that uh, we can get funded and uh, take money take much as money from these problems as we possibly can so that we can actually work together uh, generate some generational wealth and then uh, yeah so otherwise uh thank you guys oh i also wanted to compare you guys out uh, with this one so this is fx replay so in fx replay the free version just allows you one back testing session which is actually very terrible and you only have one indicator and one week data retention right and in traders casa you get unlimited data retention if you can i don't know what their server is but their server just allows us to do so many stuff there and then the 15 dollars per month now um but that was the yearly so monthly you'll be paying like $17.99 and for $17.99 you get 10 back testing sessions which is still unlike the unlimited ones you get from traders casa and then you get three indicators six months data retention and two charts and then for the pro uh traders castles pro was 30 bucks and the pro you have everything you need to achieve profitability and unlimited back testing unlimited indicators unlimited charts but i'm pretty sure for traders casa you still get also that amount of benefits and uh, the nice part is if you are someone who works with uh, trading view a lot like I do you would also realize like like this is trading view but you also realize like this is actually a, 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 ni a, ni a nice way because it already replicates trading view and you can also change your chart settings uh, for the colors me I don't like these colors I just did it for the video so you can always just change your card chart colors and uh, yeah you know what I'm saying so otherwise uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, see you in the next one and with that I will say peace